Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I kind of started this video a little late, um, so excuse me for that, but I thought I would bring you along. Let me go ahead and put this down real quick. Um, as I am making a barbecue chicken today. So I just did a little bit of um, onion powder, some garlic, and partially flakes to begin. And we've got it in a 400 degree oven for approximately 40, 45 minutes. We'll check it at the 40 minute mark just to see where we're at. But yeah, um, thought I'd go ahead and bring you along. We'll go ahead and take a look at it here. Sorry, oven, oven lot decided to go out a couple months ago and I have not replaced it. No, my apartment will not replace it. So, um, after this 45 minutes, we'll put some barbecue sauce on it and then we will put it back in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. I'll come back when we do that process. All right, guys. Timer just went off. It's been in here for 45 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and take it out. Let me grab oops, wrong drawer. That I don't even remember where all my stuff is at. So we'll go ahead. Uh oh. Got just a bit of smoke happening here. A bit smoked up here. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Set the smoke alarms off. Kind of had a feeling I was going to do that. Because they are super super sensitive and we have three in the apartments um but yeah so I'm just gonna quickly throw a little bit on here Hear that nice little crust already. Turn this guy over. Do a little bit more sauce on that one. Turn this guy. Pretty sure that's the one that's smoked up because it looks like it might actually be done.
spaced a little bit here. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and baste just a little. Okay. Got that done. So we will get right back. All right, guys. So back with a part two here. We're just going to turn the small burner side on to about a four. And on my stove, it goes up to a high and then, or eight and then high. And we're just going to take a little bit of this. Good heaping couple of tablespoons here. Our water is almost at a boil. So we're gonna do, take that. Let me grab out my spatula over here. To make it easier. To kind of mix around. I actually might get my whisk out. So I'll whisk it around a little bit first. And then grab out the spatula. Let me go ahead and readjust one more time. <sighs> Add a lot of cooking, huh? Oh yeah, I need to grab some milk. I'll do that in a second. I mean some butter for my mac noodles. Let's just elevate just a tad bit here. stuff you know it'll burn all we're doing here now is just letting the flour cook and get that rawness out and I'll come back when we get when we put the noodles in and get started on that all right guys so the timer just went off letting me know my chicken is done um just a warning smoke detectors may go off again so be prepared all right so we do have our macaroni over here boiling away And in substitute of salt, I use butter to make sure, oh shit, that everything is, you know, good to go there. Um, sauce here out of very um, burnt uh, 
yeah, out of a very burnt, um, Jesus Christ, really? Why am I so shaky today? Ugh. Because, as you can see, it is very brown, but we're going to go with it. You don't want this to be too, too, too thick. You just want it to be kind of, yeah, at this consistency right here. And we'll go ahead and start throwing our cheese slices in. You will have to add more milk to this to get to your preferred thickness, but for now, we are just going to go ahead and throw in, um, I think this was six slices of cheese, and you want to do this process pretty quickly. Help it along with some milk. Okay, so we're turning a little golden brown now, so hey, maybe this isn't a total fill. You want more of that color right there, per se, and milk or uh, for a gravy, but not your mac and cheese roux. All right, thin her down some. And we will just do Now yeah, this is hard to exactly calculate, so it's just a good couple of handfuls of a shredded cheese and we're not none. Now this cheese will clump up really, really quickly so you have to be very, very careful. When doing this, you want it, okay, so we're definitely going to need to thin some more out here. Thin it out just a bit more. should have started all over with everything here. Since I'm so shaky, I don't know why I am. Okay, so it's 4.30 now. <sighs> Time to start eating.
nice little golden. So it didn't turn out to be a total disaster. Let's put that back there. Mix this in together really good and quickly here. Although I could have transferred it over to that pot, I just decided to do this one. And we're going to give it just a little time to thicken up here. A little bit more. We'll put it down on like a simmer. And just let her sit and simmer. Yeah, there's definitely some burnt bits in there, but hey, that's okay. guys taste test time go ahead and taste this macaroni because I'm sure it's burnt mm. very hot but not bad now let's go for our chicken. Mm. Super nice crispy crust. guys so that concludes this week's video if you like the video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up comment some other video suggestions down below and if you are not subscribed turn on your post notifications so you do not miss a single video we're trying to post weekly I know it's been what 20 days now but we're gonna go to weekly and until the next one, see you later.